Greetings, I'm Hondo, and this is my review of the Electronic Audio Experiments Model FET. The single chain for today is going to be my Modern Vintage Guitars MVP4 and to my Trickfish 0.5K Bullhead straight into Ableton. Let's jump into the sound clips. So as far as the build quality is concerned on this pedal, there's not too much to say because it's basically perfect. Uh, everything on here is really solid. Everything looks great. Um, it's got the soft switches on here so you don't get that loud pop that happens when you click on some pedals. Uh, and this finish on here looks fantastic and it looks super cool and it's built great. So not too much else to say. <laughs> there's six knobs on this pedal, but the controls are dead simple. The bright knob adds in gain from just the bright channel, and the normal knob adds in gain from just the normal channel. Uh, and it's important to note that these channels are running in parallel, not series. And these work like real amp uh, gain settings, so if you turn them all the way down to zero, you'll get no signal from the channel. Beneath them, the bass, mid-range, and treble knobs are the controls for the FMV EQ, which is a Fender Marshall Vox style EQ. And the EQ with everything at noon has a little bit of a mid scoop and each knob affects how the other ones behave once you start messing with them. The master knob functions as a level control and it allows you to put a huge amount of volume out of this thing. They emulated a power amp section in here which includes some clipping and compression happening but the amount of clipping and compression isn't affected by the master knob. The best way to think of it is like the master knob is controlling the volume of an amp that has the master wide open. So this pedal is based off of a Sun Model T all tube amplifier and I've never actually used one of those amplifiers before so I can't really speak to whether or not it's you know accurate to that particular sound uh, but what I can tell you is that it sounds fantastic it's got a lot of the qualities that you would expect to hear coming out of an all tube head like those big warm lows you know the very smooth but kind of clear highs uh, everything about it to me kind of screams tubes and if you told me there were tubes in here I would believe you so I can't really talk to the accuracy of it but this thing definitely gives you an all tube head kind of vibe since the gain channels are set up to be parallel to one another, you can blend them together to get a really cool wall of sound type effect because the bright channel has a lot more of the kind of like clarity and upper end information to the signal without it being thin at all. And then the normal gain channel has lots of like girth to it <laughs> and it's very thick and kind of vintagey. So you can blend each of them together to your preference to get a, a nice gigantic type of sound. Uh, and the master knob doesn't really model power amp distortion so much or like that sag kind of feel. But what it does do is it gives you a ton of volume to put out of the pedal. And that's useful because you can use this pedal to drive a power amp into your cabinet, which is awesome because then you don't need any other types of preamps or anything like that. And also the master knob has so much level on tap that you can 
can keep the uh, gains lower and then get a very clean kind of like bell a uh, very low saturation clean type of uh, big fat tube sound out of it um, without having too low of a signal so that is just fantastic so in my opinion the eq on this pedal isn't really for doing any kind of like surgical like precise eqing it uh tends to affect your signal in like bigger more broad strokes but to that end it never really sounds bad so you can turn the treble all the way up you know and it doesn't sound brittle you can turn the mids all the way up and it doesn't sound like you're trying to play out of your nose um, and you can turn the bass all the way up and it doesn't become a boomy mess and then you can do any combination of those three that you want and no matter what you do the pedal is always going to sound pretty good and i think that's awesome um the eq is based off of a fmv which is a defender marshall vox type of tone stack so you're going to notice that when you're turning each of the knobs up they start to act a little bit differently depending on where you have the other knobs set uh, so just keep that in mind while you're messing with stuff because if you don't know that i can see that becoming a little bit irritating but the eq just sounds great um, and it works really well with the uh, two different types of channels. It gives you a very, very broad spectrum of sounds that you can get out of this thing. For the bonus clips for this pedal, I wanted to show off two different things. Uh, one, I wanted to give you an impression of what this might sound like if you're playing through like a big speaker cabinet. So what I did is I ran some of the sound clips from earlier through a impulse response of a uh, Ampeg SVT 8x10. So that'll give you kind of an idea of what it might sound like running through some speakers. Uh, also, I wanted to give you an idea of what this pedal sounds like when you run other drives into it. Um, I think it sounds really, really good and it reacts the way you would expect a tube amp to react, which is nice. Uh, the MBD2 from Damnation Audio and the Black Math from uh, Mask Audio Effects just sounded phenomenal through it. So I'll put those through um, and add some sound clips for those. And I'll also put the impulse responses at the tail end of them so you can hear what the whole shebang would sound like together if you ran a distortion into the pedal into a cabinet. Uh, so let me know what you think of these sound clips. Uh, give me your opinions down in the comments and hope you like them. Let's check them out. if you're a fan of vintage tube amp type sounds you would be missing out if you didn't check out this pedal uh, this gives you so much of that actual tube amp vibe in such a small form factor and without having to replace tubes in it constantly um, that it's just a great solution um, especially if you're the type of player that's using any of your monitors on stage and you don't have like a, a live uh, stage sound uh, this will be really cool to we'll run this through an impulse response and maybe blend the di and the impulse response sound together and you get a nice big fat bass sound in your ears which would be really really nice um, but yeah i think if you are into this type of sound at all definitely take a look at this pedal um, you know it's not crazy expensive and it looks awesome it's very well built and it sounds fantastic so there's really no downside to it check it out so that's about it for this video i hope you dug it if you did please do hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and notification bell below that really helps out the channel uh, you'll find uh, links to all the gear that i use in the description below as well as links to my twitch and discord uh, we're having a lot of fun over there it's a cool community it'd be great if you would come hang out we'd be able to interact in real time 
Uh, also, the link for this clothing brand, Proud Failure, is going to be in the description below. Um, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just really like this message of just keeping at things and just putting in work and trying to get better all the time. You know, regardless of how many times you fall down or how many times you fail, I'm all about that message. Uh, and I want to support the brand. So you'll find their links in most of my descriptions moving forward. And you're going to see me wearing the clothes a lot. So I figure I'd give you a heads up. But if you like that, please do click the link and go grab some of their stuff. And outside of that, I hope you are feeling happy and staying healthy. And hopefully I'll see you around soon. Take it easy.